<laughs> Tell me. Mm. You're thinking about what you know about bikes and sex. No, but what can you express about it? Say here. I don't know what, I'm not exactly sure what you're doing at all. Well, you came to me tonight. And you said, this is important. Of course. Why is that important? What I told you tonight. Okay. So, it's important because everybody who's a kid has seen a lot of uh, like meeting friends come to events like this. I wonder if they come to it because it's about because they realize that this sort of event has uh, an extremely important uh, social and political significance. What is the political significance of bike porn? <laughs> the political significance of bike porn, just like the political significance of any event that uh, fully utilizes social freedom to address uh, political issues where people are politically limited, the uh, nice thing about that is that by uh, yeah, making people feel more comfortable yeah. and more self-confident like on issues off, where they are politically and, uh, limited in terms of speech and expression, well, yeah, you then you advance the entire political state of uh, that society. Because once you address the weakest links, the stronger links themselves benefit. And uh, this is something that I realized because this sort of thing would have never flown in Lebanon, which is where I'm from, or in a lot of uh, countries in that region. And that's because uh, there's a lot of uh, social uh, oppression and a lot of discomfort uh, that, that comes from uh, political and religious uh, perspectives. I mean, it doesn't matter where it comes from, but the fact that this could happen here, and we can uh, take it so lightheartedly and we can feel secure about those notions that make a lot of uh, countries worldwide feel aggressive then so, we know um, that this society has succeeded to a certain degree politically and is succeeding like more. The this comfort is a political success. And starting like my first trip Say that again. Like we got on um, we got on the freeway and I'm like this freaking out. But it was this like comfort is a political nowhere, success. So like wow. Nevada, which is this comfort is a political success because you are uh, exploiting your, 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 your freedom to full use your social freedoms in order to challenge uh, political limits of self-expression, and also th 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 there's more to it than that. The fact that this, the, the fact that you can have a social setting that's so comfortable with this sort of thing, uh, implies a sort of uh, social health, a society that is so healthy that is willing to address any issue in in in, 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 in complete openness without any sort of uh, taboo or censorship or anything like that. And the fact that it can be done so calmly yeah. and with such, with such, you know, a, a, a form of entertainment and, and you know, and, and, and comedy even, indicates that the political underpinnings of this society have been so successful that this can be established peaceably. Whereas these are topics where people regularly feel, uh, I feel, I mean, interna in an international context, not necessarily in a single country, but as, an, as a worldwide average. They f those topics are, are politicized. The treatment of gender is, is heavily politicized in the Middle East. Um, what about transportation? Well, um, transportation yeah. isn't really possible. Well, in many, uh, in inter uh, I mean, using a bike in Beirut would be uh, a real, a real uh, stupid thing to do because the, the roads there are really unsafe, even if you're using a car. Yeah. I mean, so, what about women on bikes? Oh, well, uh, there's always. I mean, it's, it's twofolded. First, uh, because women are considered. Uh, Fragile, then, but perhaps oh, unfairly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, then, yeah, um, like years ago, oh, you'll hurt yourself. But it was really, really as accurate because the roads are so horrible in Beirut. I mean, you should look us up on Google. Aren't there buses in Beirut? You want, who needs to ride a bike? Sorry? Who needs to ride a bike in Beirut? If there are buses, are there buses? The, well, we, we, we have, uh, we don't have a governmental. We don't have buses? We have a, we have a governmental bus service that is really horrible and uh, runs on Black Mazout, so... Uh, Where's Black Mazout? It's really bad, uh, it's, it's a really ba bad kind of fuel for a car. It's like Mazout, but, but unfiltered Mazout. So I don't even know the, the term the, uh, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very crude word. Right, is it? It's, uh, 
it's actually, I mean, it's not an, it's, it's an Arabic term, but it's internationalized quite well. Oh. So, um, it's a bit like, leaves like black uh, clouds of death at, right. at the exile. Uh, <laughs> and uh, it's, uh, and the, the government, when they passed the law, they made it so that there's an exception for, for buses, because they were like some kind of a lobby. And, so, uh, and they're very inefficient and weird, and uh, a lot of them are private, actually. Yeah. It's, it's a weird system, but no, as a public bus system, I'm oh. sure as heck I have that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of social problems. Uh, I mean, and, and, and uh, one of the social problems is the fact that, um, I mean, really, if you wanted to say that, uh, you know, the, 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 the lack of like riding bikes, and even if actually if you're a girl, you, you can ride a bike to a certain degree, but you also probably get cat called all the time, sure. which is a problem that also happens yeah. in Egypt. No, but I mean, if you're flowing through know. traffic, <laughs> you can't be cat called at for long for the same person. Like and I just, really? you, well, I think that <laughs> girls on bikes get yelled at. Okay. But most of the time, they're gone. Sure. They're gone and it's, it's different if you're walking because anyone who wants to like walk. Oh, sure, sure, sure. And so, like, I don't see there yeah. being a. It, it doesn't happen in the like, even no, on bikes in the United States, you don't have guys that are aggressive and like chasing after girls too. No, no, no. I'm not saying I'm, I've never said that. No, no, no. I didn't suggest any of these things. I'm creating a fictitious scenario for women's liberation, right, as a tool that we're trying to. Share. And that this time, the bicycle is a tool that you can like travel. Jonathan, thank you. Oh, uh, I'll go get it. I'm sorry. Maybe I have to sorry, break. I you. Sorry, I just uh, had my computer. Oh, that's a good thing to keep it in your purse. Absolutely. Go on. One of the biggest ways that our culture views, excuse me, our Western culture views Eastern culture. Yep. And I don't want to have make, put you on the spot to speak. No, 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 go do Lebanese it. People. I am absolutely listening openly. Thank you. Is, is the use that we have deemed uh, the way you treat women as immoral, so therefore you would lose a lot of cultural it's, respect. See, that's a problem for us. Right. Because, be, 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 because it... Because uh, uh, reputationally, in terms of political reputation internationally, it's affecting the perception of Arabs worldwide, and that's that, that's undeniable, and that's a problem. Because, I mean, sure, uh, we do have. I mean, I, I I would be the first to admit that Le Lebanon has a problem with the social equality of women. We're uh, not perfect ourselves. No, no, no. We're, but, but the thing, we're a lot worse than you are, and I and I admit that, and I'm not saying that. And I'm saying that because politically you need to acknowledge a problem if you are to fix it. Yeah. And uh, in Lebanon and in, in, in other countries in that region, there's a problem. And I'm not going to I'm, I'm not going to uh, avoid addressing that problem to protect the reputation of my countries or whatever because that's a destructive form of nationalism. And it, it, it prohibits speech. It prohibits addressing political issues. But it's it's such a truth, and I don't see any problem with admitting that at all. And uh, it's, it's, it's even more of a problem because it is lowering uh, our, our international reputation. I mean, heck. Yeah, I'm okay. Well, you're, you're not, you, have the, you, you feel like the responsibility for all of the region. And it's, absolutely, it's not absolutely. Why, why should, why should uh, countries like Lebanon be uh, like internationally considered uh, inferior on their rights towards women? I mean, uh, the, the United States is also uh, it, uh, could be considered internationally inferior, for example, for its deployment of drones in Afghanistan. I'm sure. You're <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, I mean, right? It's no, so no, no country. No exactly country is perfect. How many of random people? I don't know if you're keeping account of just in total innocence that remote control, random, like we're we're not deploying people, so therefore it's okay that we have floating drones of death monitoring our actions that ready to kill us. That would be something I would very much be bothered by if it was happening. It seems that America should be aware of that. This is a very small thing. Absolutely. It's like real. Yeah, well, because like mobility is tied in with that because they've taken mobility to such a degree that they can kill on the spot anywhere, which is absolutely. Incredible. And it's you, you, all you, actually the, the the excuse is that you don't endanger American citizens. You're just saying. Well, so it's okay. Well, um, you hmm. don't have a choice. Well, I don't think it's okay. 
I, there think, is no I think it's weird and, 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 and actually kind of, kind of surreal that this is happening because you know and one of, one of the only one of the horrible side effects is now other people are arming themselves with drones too it's, it's becoming a regular weapon because uh, people tend to follow uh, the examples of superpowers and so other countries um, and not even other countries uh, Hezbollah now has drones <laughs> So, so you know, well, Russia's I would assume any part of our, you know, we, we're, we're, we're creating a military state, so everyone's going to need the new toy. Well, that's unfortunate. I think uh, your bike is not as tall as mine. <laughs> yeah. I'm closer to dronehood mm -hmm. with my, my high status. Well, that, that is the notion of political realism, where you just, uh, where the, 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 the only outlook on international politics well, is the one. Just real, just, uh, it's, 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 it's a realist outlook on, on policy. It's, it's, it's kind of an outlook where you're just extremely conservative about your evaluation of a political scenario and you just always go for the safest path no matter what, even if the risk is small. This kind of, this kind of defaulting to, 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 the, to, to the military solution of problems um, is really... What's the word? I mean, it's patriarchal. Just, no, I mean, whatever. You can call it patriarchal. Come on. I, I, I guess you could. I guess you could. No, no. Well, absolutely. I think it's based on borders and people defi defining it. And your fucking ass is my fucking my business. And that's like you know, it's very defining defining this borderhood that we create. For it prohibits. Ourselves. It prohibits looking for other solutions and other institutions that could address uh, problems. I mean, I don't think drones is going to culturally uh, improve the relationships of, of countries worldwide or is going to achieve any sort of uh, uh, cultural political change. I think you're just picking off individuals. I mean, there's, there's billions of individuals and there's, there's the underlying culture that matters there and that, that can only be addressed with diplomacy. So you, so you, address, you, you speak culturally, you speak with diplomacy instead of killing one or two people, I, I, I mean, just every day, I don't know, out of out of millions that will be influenced by the same culture and the same uh, war happenings and, and, will, and, will, and, will have, and, will, and will also not like the state that is, that is casting drones on So you are like, patching up with this weird solution of only got clout because uh, it kills less American soldiers. And it does to its credit. But uh, it'll, and, 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 and therefore you have, uh, uh, now you can send a robot to kill anyone. I mean, even if they're not militants, there are many cases there are many cases where there's not only you know, casualties on the side, and that's, that's well documented, but also people, uh, people who are sharing the ideas would naturally, of, of this kind of revolution, would be targets of a, of a, of a you know, the people who have like, I don't know, I, some guy saw a thing flying in the sky, and then next thing is, right, well, where is it? Where, right. Well, I mean, uh, children have also, uh, for example, uh, they killed this uh, terrorist guy, uh, and uh, what's his name? Uh, La, 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 a very well-known target who got killed by a drone, some, some uh, uh, and uh, they killed him, and then they killed his, uh, you know, 12 to 15 year old son uh, with a drone, like strike directly. It was like uh, there was another one. It was like not not the same one. It was targeting his son, at least as far oh, as, right. as, as as far as the evidence goes. I mean, it's not particularly yeah. certain. But sorry. He was the most high profile. Oh, sorry. Uh, he was the most high profile target that was killed. And so it, it becomes, uh, e e e even though you're killing less American soldiers, the act is still in itself uh, similarly inhuman. Because, sure, you're saving American lives, and that should be your prerogative as an American politician, and that's extremely reasonable. But, uh, but, which, uh, but you're also. <laughs> marginally. But you're also dehumanizing the effect even more. You're also, even though you're saving American lives, you're de 